Welcome into Live It Up. I'm Lee Aker here with Michaela Tocasso, and we're at Collaborative Solutions in Psychiatry. And we'll be chatting with them a little bit later in this show. But what we love about what Live It Up is that it empowers women. Some of you men as well, of course. But what we love about this lady, she really empowers women and the whole families, of course. And today we have Miriam Bulcher. She's a photographer and owner of Miriam Bulcher Luxury portraits, right? Yeah. Awesome. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. This is great. <laughs> yeah. We, we love being able to support local and what you do. I feel like you support so many local people just by giving them that confidence and that, that sense of beauty that might be hidden for some because they just don't understand like how to bring it out, but you bring it out in them. And you have this Beauty Over 50 campaign. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So it really stemmed from um, a desire to see more real women that I was seeing in my day-to-day -day life, but I just wasn't seeing them on social media. And I thought, what an inaccurate representation that we see, you know, especially in Hollywood and just like in general of women over 50. And I thought, well, how come we can't see more real women, you know, mothers, aunts, sisters, grandmothers in you know, that we know. Yeah. Um, and you know, that generation didn't grow up with cameras either. So I think there's a lot of anxiety around existing in, in photos and on camera. And so I thought, I want to showcase that being over 50 is not, I think, what the stereotype used to be mm -hmm. and what a lot of it is right now, which is, you know, I think the younger generation is like, well, I have to be worried, you know, my life might be over, or ridiculous, you know, kind of notions yeah. or stereotypes. So, and from a woman that I know, it's the complete opposite of that. It's, you know, you have more freedom, opportunity, um, you have more self-confidence, you just have so much more to give, so much yeah. more value, so much wisdom. And I thought we really need to showcase that and translate that um, on camera and try to sh um, do my part to change what is being seen on social media mm -hmm. and in the world of like, okay, here's real women over 50, this is their message. And I think it's just really important to see, but also to hear. That's yeah. so true. It is. Uh, you know, and I, uh, like we're both over 50 and we think like, you know, when we grew up, yeah, we weren't taking a lot of pictures. We didn't have the phones obviously with, with uh, a camera or yeah. anything like that. So that's so true that it's like now when you kind of come to your own in your 50s, you're, you're feeling a little good and sassy about yourself right yeah yeah I love yeah. it yeah and it feels like your commitment that people really be seen for who they are yes that's that's my sense of, of yeah. you and so when what is a photo shoot experience like with you? How is yeah. that different? Yes. So um, I really have curated the experience to be a, like a collaboration. So there's a lot of anxiety for a lot of most women, I feel like, to get in front of the camera and to be photographed. Um, a lot of women, I hear that all the time where they say, you know, I've had my photo taken, but it's not a representation of what I see in the mirror. Or if I take like a selfie or something like that. And so they get frustrated because they're almost feeling like they're... Um, you know, inaccurately portrayed when they see their headshot. So I took that information and kind of built my my sessions to guarantee that a, f a person walks out with the best photo possible. So that mm -hmm. starts with wardrobe. We do a wardrobe consultation. Um, we're doing hair and makeup. They're gonna see their photos, you know, on a TV, like a large TV, as I take the photo, as I take them. Oh. So this is probably the biggest determining factor because then they yeah. can see their photos and I can say, what do you think? Like, do you like yeah. your hair? Do you like the angle? Do you like the lighting? Do you like, you know, does this feel like you? And they're feeling seen and heard right away in that first couple poses versus saying like, and not knowing, you know, yeah. if, the, if yeah. the photographer doesn't show you the back of the camera, you're not gonna know up until, you know, the photo shooter two weeks later, right. right? Yeah. And so, and then also they get to sit and they choose their own photos. Nice. So it's very much, um, hey, I want you to feel seen and heard and I want you to love your images and then they take what they love. So yeah, it's a very um, unique process and really meant to give confidence to the person on the other side of the camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I bet they get more comfortable and more into their own when they can see them, yep. th the pictures as you're doing them. Exactly. Instead of like thinking, oh, I hope I look good. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. as for a lot of women, you know, they're really, you know, hair is a really important thing. You know, clothing, how it lays properly is a really important mm -hmm. thing. Or, you know, everyone has their own different uh, things that they're, they wanna pay attention to or they wanna not emphasize, you know, whether it's their time or you know certain things and so when they're able to see their photos they're like oh and they start adjusting themselves immediately yeah. and so again they that guarantee that they're gonna have photos that they really love is you know it's it's really meant to be 
um, instant, right? Yeah. Like instant yeah. feedback yeah. to boost confidence. Right. Yeah. And it's probably very empowering for them. And I know that's like a huge thing for you is to help ladies feel empowered. Is yes, that right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a firm believer that when a woman is confident and really like able to focus on, you know, because there's um, in society, I feel like, you know, marketing preys on women who don't feel good about themselves. You know, when you look at, you know, weight loss and plastic mm -hmm. surgery and things like that, there's a lot of time and energy that's spent on disliking oneself and in turn if you're spending all that time you can't really give that to other people yeah. and so I believe that if a woman is confident she's able to really transform the world it starts with her she's able to spend more time like on her friends her family mm -hmm. her kids you know her her community and it yeah. helps a lot with um, I just think you know it's really transformational and I'm sure you're gonna be helping a lot of ladies out there today so we thank you so much for yes. coming on we really appreciate it mm -hmm. we appreciate you for watching we'll be right back after the break